guys, welcome to The Fumble. I'm Britt Johnson. For more sports news and commentary, make sure you click subscribe and don't forget to follow me on all social media at I am Britt Johnson. For those of you who may not know, The Fumble Squad is working to raise money for the Equal Justice Initiative, an incredible nonprofit organization that provides legal representation to prisoners who may have been wrongfully convicted of crimes, poor prisoners without effective representation, and others who may have been denied a fair trial. We will be amplifying our voices here at The Fumble to share with you some of the very many stories of wrongly convicted athletes, activists, and people alike in an effort to shed some light on something that happens in our country every single day. Some of these stories you may already know, while others will show you exactly how unfair our justice system can be. Today, I will tell you guys about Brian Banks. Brian was a standout football player at Long Beach Poly before he was falsely accused of rape. In 2002, when Brian was 16 years old, he had verbally committed to USC when he was arrested and charged with rape of a female classmate on campus. At the time, he was facing possibly 41 years to life in prison when his lawyer ill-advised him to plead no contest, which the lawyer claimed would land Brian on probation and he would serve no jail time. Well, that was incorrect information by the lawyer. He lost his scholarship to USC and spent nearly six years in prison and five years on parole. Once released from jail, Brian found it difficult to get jobs because of his conviction. Shortly after his release, the woman who accused Brian of rape contacted him on Facebook and later admitted that she had made the whole story up. However, she wouldn't publicly admit it because she was granted $1.5 million in a settlement with Long Beach Poly and didn't want to have to return the money. Brian continued to fight and in 2012, his conviction was finally overturned. Shortly after, his dreams came true by finally making it to the NFL where he played in preseason for the Atlanta Falcons before being released. Brian's story is just one of many that we'll share throughout the coming weeks. If you want to be a part of the movement, there is a donation link below where you can send donations directly to the fund. Anything helps and we're so glad that you can share this awesome opportunity to donate with us. If you want to learn more about the Equal Justice Initiative, you can visit their website at eji.org. I'm your host, Britt Johnson for The Fumble, and I'll see you guys soon.